this is Jo from Math True to Me. Today we're going to do some algebra and more specifically division in algebra, division of pronumerals. If you want to print out the sheets like I have here, you can go to my website, see the details below, and print some out and fill them in with me as we go. So let's have a look. When dividing algebraic terms, divide the numbers first and then the pronumerals. If the numbers do not divide evenly, so you divide them and you get a decimal or an improper fraction, then you need to leave your answer as a simplified fraction. Don't ever go to decimals, okay? So, question one. Let's simplify these expressions here. We have 20m divided by 5. A fraction is just another way of writing divide. So I have to divide the numbers. 20 divided by 5, that goes nicely. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And there's only one letter, an M, so it's not going to go anywhere. So it's 4M is my answer. Question 2, 6PQ divided by 8Q. All right, I want to do 6 divided by 8. Oh, that's not going to work without getting a decimal. So what I want to do is I want to try and simplify them as much as possible. Both of those numbers could be divided by 2. So if I divide 6 by 2, I get 3. Divide 8 by 2, I get 4. Okay, my numbers are simplified. I also want to divide my letters, or in this case, cancel my letters. If there is a Q on the top, it can cancel off a Q on the bottom. So once you've done all your simplifying and cancelling, we write down what is left. On the top, I have a 3 and a P. 3P on the top. On the bottom, all that's left is the number 4. So that's my answer, 3p over 4. Question 3. 12k divided by 6k. Can I divide the numbers? 12 divided by 6? Yes, I can. That makes 2. k divided by k. When you divide letters, if they're the same, they cancel out. So the k's cancel out. And my answer is just 2. That's all that's left. Question 4, minus 6u squared divided by 2u. Let's divide our numbers. A minus 6 divided by 2. So remember, when you're multiplying and dividing, positive and negative numbers, or negative and a positive, positive and a negative, will give you a negative answer. Two negative numbers will give you a positive answer. So I have got a negative number and a positive number. So I will get a negative. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now a u squared, that's like having u times u. Divide by u, this u will cancel one of those ones out. And I will only have one left. So minus 3u is the answer. Question 5. Minus 15mn divide by minus 3n. Minus divide by minus will become a plus. 15 divide by 3, that goes nicely and gives you 5. So a plus 5, 5. And let's look at the letters. I have an n on the top and an n on the bottom. They will cancel out. And all that's left on the top here is the M. Question 6. 18EF divided by 10E. Well, we want 18 divided by 10. But that gives me a decimal. So, when that happens, it's the, the best thing to do is to rewrite your question as a fraction because a divide and a fraction are the same thing. And that way, instead of having to go to a decimal, you can simplify your fraction 
that you simplify your question into nice numbers here. So 18 and 10, I could divide them both by 2. Divide 18 by 2, cross it out, I would get a 9. Divide 10 by 2, I would get a 5. Letters can also be cancelled out. I can cancel an E here and an E on the bottom. So now I just write down what's left. On the top, I have a 9 and an F. On the bottom, all that's left is the number 5. 9f over 5. One more question here, question 7. Minus 12ab divided by 4b. Well, those numbers I can divide. Minus 12 divided by 4, minus and a positive, I will get a negative answer. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and the b that's with this 4 will cancel this b off. So that all will, that will be left is the A minus 3A. All right, it is time for you to have a practice and see how you go practicing what we just learnt. Pause the video and have a try of these five questions and then restart the video to go through the answers. Question one, 16Y over four or divided by four we can divide 16 by 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And there's only one y, so 4y. Question 2, 12ab over 2b. 12 divided by 2 goes 6 times. And b and b will cancel off. So 6a should be your answer. Question 3, minus 15gh divided by 5g. Let's divide the numbers. Minus 15 divided by 5 will give a minus 3. Minus and a plus makes a minus. And g and g will cancel off. So h is what's left for your answer. Question 4. Minus 40p divided by minus 15. 40 doesn't divide by 15 nicely, so when that happens, write your question as a fraction. Minus 40p over minus 15. And then try and simplify your numbers. Well, minus and a minus is going to make a plus. They're going to disappear. 40 and 15 can both be divided by 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. So we have an 8 and a P left on the top, and on the bottom we have a 3. One more question. 24JK divided by 32KL. Well, that's not going to divide very nicely, so we write it as a fraction, 24JK over 32KL. 24 and 32, I can divide by 8, would be the biggest number. You could also divide by 4 or by 2, but it's best to go to the biggest number and that way you are simplifying as much as possible. So 24 divided by 8 goes 3 times. 32 divided by 8 goes 4 times. Just as a little trick here, if you're not that great at simplifying numbers, you can type in the fraction 24 over 32 in your calculator and it will simplify it for you. Now looking at the letters, I have a K on the top and a K on the bottom and they will cancel out. And all I have to do is write down what's left. On the top, 3 and J are left. And on the bottom, I have a 4 and an L. And there it is, the answer. Okay, time for you to go and practice, practice, find as many questions as you can. The more you practice, the better you'll get at it. And I'll see you next time 
for another maths video on algebra. Bye for now.